Hi there and welcome to the short walkthrough regarding two components we've developed recently, the already familiar color picker and a new component we've developed recently which makes working with the ramp top a lot more convenient. Regarding the color picker, I always have this one situated in my palette, just drag it in. It's currently the 1.5.1 release. It's a small one, you are already familiar with the assign mode probably. So that would be a constant, put this one in active mode. And if you hover over one of these three values, you middle click and it becomes in what I call the assign mode. So you can just operate on your color picker and if you click somewhere else, it's applied. Earlier it would only work if you hover over the red value but it now works on the blue and the green as well and what I noticed is that when I was working for instance with a GLSL top and I wanted to have a uniform that would pull in a color value the way how it worked earlier is that it would only work on color fields so this parameter group is called color and there are these subfields who are called red, blue, and green. And when the script notices that you are hovering over a red subfield, it would flag it as correct and you were able to go into assign mode. But in this GLSL example, this parameter group is called a vec name. And this one is called a value. So there is no red, green, or blue, but I do want it to use my color picker for this particular uniform. So I've changed the script slightly and it now just looks at every parameter group who has three or more subfields. And that's usually the case with color parameters. So if I now, for instance, click here, go to the color picker, you see that the values are going to be implemented in this uniform as well. And if I click somewhere else, the values are applied. In theory, they would also work with, for instance, transform values because those parameter groups also have three or more subfields. So if I click here, use the color picker, it works as well. But obviously the values don't make sense. The second component I would like to show you is called the ramper component. I just drag it in from here. And if you go inside, you see there is this ramp top and a lot of very complicated stuff added before. I always find it a bit odd to work with the ramp top, especially when I would like to assign very specific colors. There is this table that attached, so you could change the values in here. But since I'm working with the color picker a lot, I just wanted to have a color parameter like you would find in a constant top. So I've added these custom parameters. So if you click here, use the color picker, here, you see that the color is changing along and if I would like to add another position I just hit the add pulse button click one of these values and just change the colors you can add another one change the colors oh, click one of those fields change the color something different add click one of these values change the colors you can change the position as well, like you would usually do with these thingies. You can do that with the slider. And you can always hit spread, which basically spreads every position evenly along the range. So the first one would be zero and the last one would be one. If you hit reset, the edit colors will be deleted. Here is the resolution parameter. And I've also added a hexadecimal input field. So I can change this to something else, 000. zero, zero. Any color will change accordingly. Add another one, for instance, AA. So that would be blue. Another one, let's say, AA00, zero, zero, so it will be something green. Change the position. Spread the reset. And of course, you can just go into the assign mode again. 
And if you like to use the hexadecimal value again, just change some of these values. And of course, if you go inside, you have full control over the RAM top itself. So you can change this, for instance, to vertical, change the interpolation to step. Play with these values. When working with colors, these are the two components I use on a daily basis. Hopefully these will fit in your workflow as well. If you have any suggestions or you encounter bugs or you find a certain feature not very convenient, just let me know. This is currently an exclusive video. I'm not sure when I'm going to make this public, but by staying a patron, you make sure you have access to all these exclusive pre-updates and of course many thanks in return. Thank you for watching and we'll catch up next time.